In the course of my lifetime, I developed a conceptual framework. With the financial crisis, it does have a relevance to other people for their understanding of this very complicated reality. Thank you very much. The formative experience of my life was the German occupation of Hungary in 1944. I was not yet 14 years old at the time. Coming from the first two lectures kind of summarize the experience of, 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 of my past. The concept of reflexivity provided me with a new way of looking at financial markets, a better way than the prevailing theory. The entire edifice of global financial markets that has been erected on the false premise that markets can be left to their own devices has to be rebuilt from the ground up. The next two lectures are exploratory, new ideas that I am developing now. Open society can prevail only when people can speak truth to power. It needs the rule of law that guarantees freedom of speech and press, freedom of association and assembly, and other rights and freedoms. There is a deep-seated conflict between capitalism and open society, market values and social values. In the end, how a democracy functions depends on the people who live in it. The fifth lecture is, of course, the conclusion that brings it together. To put it bluntly, the United States stands to lose the most, and China is poised to emerge as the greatest winner. There is a growing belief that the global financial system has once again escaped collapse and we are slowly returning to business as usual. This, in my opinion, is a grave misinterpretation of the current situation. Humpty Dumpty can't be put together again. Thank you. It is a summing up of a life philosophy, but it's not a closed system. It's an open system that can develop a lot more. And I hope that other people will be inspired uh, by this approach and, and develop it further.